Well, hey guys, I'm joined by Phil. Hi guys. And Ian, and we're going to be doing the soft top to Ian's car. So I'll let Ian explain what we're doing. Yeah, hi, it's a 1969 Triumph TR6. Uh, the soft top was 51 years old. Uh, it's now ready for replacement. So today we'll be fitting a new vinyl, vinyl roof. Um, the hood frame itself is in good condition, doesn't need any work. Um, but the soft top, as I say, needs replacing. Uh, and let's go and put the new vinyl one on. Can I just say, I'm older than 51 years old, but I don't want replacing, just to make that clear. That's absolutely fine. Okay. You so look quite good in vinyl. <laughs> well, right. So let's get this note. top fitted. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is fit um, the new soft top webbing to the hard top rear rail. The rear rail is this solid metal piece that runs along the, the bottom edge. You will see there is a slot in either side for the webbing to pass through. This webbing kit fortunately comes with a pre-sewn loop on the end. This loop is to hold the retaining pin. The retaining pin simply pushes through here, pushes out both ends, and that is what stops the webbing from passing back through the roof itself. Okay, so now we're going to fit the rear rail onto the car. Difficult to show on video what we're doing, but there are five captive nuts in the bodywork at the rear of the car. We then pass the bolts through the fixed rail on the rear of the soft top and bolt the rail into position. All the while being careful that you don't damage the vinyl windows during this operation. And you see we've unzipped the rear window um, just to avoid putting any tension on it as we move the hood around to get access to the bolt heads. So just be careful. It's not, it's not the warmest of days today, which of course makes any evolution around the, the rear window a high, higher risk than normal. So just taking extra care not to damage anything as we do these bolts up. So next step now that the uh, soft top is bolted to the rear deck, we're redoing up the window. And that way when we go to put the soft top on and put it under tension, everything will be stressed in the right sort of place. <laughs> Yeah, and we're connecting the rear internal clips to the bar. So if we look up here, we've got a flap fitted to the hood. Connect that to the rearmost frame bar. So that'll be this bar here, and then we'll be working our way forward to the next middle bar. And again, that'll be clipped onto there. So Phil, if you just want to pull back the, uh, yep. the top so we can see what okay. Ian's doing. If we see Ian there, he's just connecting this here to the middle bar and he's done the same with the rear bar. We've got no rivets on this bar, we need to fit them. Okay, so that's going to be another job we've got to do is put in some oh. pop rivets yeah. to this piece. Previously, this leading rail didn't have any press studs fitted to it. However, we've discovered that there are holes in the rear face of the rail. Um, the holes appear to be in the right position, so what we're going to do now is fit press studs into these holes, and hopefully everything should line up. So okay, so I've got this pop, pop riveter and we're going to attach the necessary studs to the rail on Ian's car uh, and it'll all go perfectly first time. First I need to locate the holes which is not easy. Yeah, there we go. There's one, let's do that one. So yeah, if you brace against that, this should make short work of it hopefully. There we are. Is it firmly attached? No, no. I think we're going to have to go for a bigger rivet. Bigger rivet I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the problem. We've got to be just right, haven't we? There's not enough room inside the. Uh... Yeah, right side so up. Right, so we've got some studs that fit nicely with these rivets inside the hole, but unfortunately, the rivets where the end is there that's going to compress up to the actual stud, it's a little bit too wide for the hole. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim down the ends of these uh, rivets on. Ian's nice bench grinder and hopefully that should make a nice fit. So 
Let's get on with it. So we do occasionally get a bit of blue sky in the UK while we're working on this car. Phil was going to bring his, weren't you? I was going to bring my car, but I was scared. <laughs> Because it was raining. <laughs> Unfortunately, typical UK weather. Well, anyway, Ian's getting on with uh, boring out those holes. So, hopefully, the rivets should fit quite nicely. Right, we're going to attach the pop stud thingy to the rear now. I'm doing is this. That's a bit. technical term? That's a technical. Pop stud thingy is very technical. And I, I'm doing this because I have a riveting personality. So, here we go. So, this is take two, Phil. Take two. Hopefully, the stud should stay in place. Much better there, Ian? Much better. Ah, that's yeah. the one then. Fantastic. Let's do the remaining ones then. Right, our plan is to just fold the edges over so that this doesn't actually rub into the hood. Uh, so we're trying to make it a bit more flush with the rail, but we don't want to deform the actual stud part of it so that it still clips in okay. If it doesn't work, it's back to square one. Seems to work quite well. Very good. What Seems we're doing good. now is attaching the hood to the pop rivets we just installed to the pop studs. So it should be in the right position to then start fitting it to the front rail. So we're just going to put Phil away because yeah. what's happened is that uh, Ian's over help, there help. and he's um, just tensioning the hood and then we're also tensioning the rear ears at the same time. Obviously I can't show you this because I'm on camera but if I just come around and show you what Ian's doing and I'm doing exactly the same the other side, just putting this hood under tension and then Phil's underneath and if we just pull back the hood just to show what Phil's been doing. I've Phil's been, been pulling on these. Um, I'm pulling on the webbing. webbing and marking it up to see if it, we can get it in exactly the right spot. And then we're going to attach it and double check each hoop as we attach the uh, webbing. And that's working from the back hoop and riveting on the webbing. One hoop at a time and then we'll take it backwards and forwards and, and just make sure that all these ribs are aligned. So hopefully we should get a nice finish. Okay, let go. Got a bit of teamwork going on here it with getting the webbing right. Like that with the hood, with it there. Got the first one on. Like that. Yeah, that's good. And that's that's good. nicely taught. And we'll nice just go through. I was a teacher. <laughs> We're just going to go through each one at a time, as we said earlier. Ian's working away nicely there. I'm just putting holes in the webbing. He's just using an ordinary screwdriver just to punch it. And then Phil's just gauging where he's put the chalk marks, as you can see, right under there on this one. So hopefully, next step, you should see all the webbing on. Ready? Yep. So we've got Ian now just cutting off the remains of the webbing. Send it over to Phil. Lovely job. Next. Well now we have to glue the leading edge down to the leading edge of the header rail then it gets folded under and gets glued on the reverse side then it gets held in place with retaining channels which get riveted onto the underside of the header rail. So to the glue. And to the feels glue. now on the contact adhesive. Yeah I've got stuck on this Sniffing job. Away metally. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's floating out of the garage. So gauge this by eye. We've got the stuff on it. Now Phil's just putting on some clamps. Just hold it in place and then we'll get the rail on. So we've got Ian here. He's putting on the ear of the end of the um, soft top to the hood frame. Nicely tucking it in with the hood frame retracted. And then the top's going to we clamp down over that. So we now need to fit the seal channel onto the inner side of the header rail. The header rail itself is already drilled so we just need to carefully find out where the drill points are, line everything up, make the hole through, push the pop rivet in, rivet the things in place, obviously making sure that we don't push our pricker through into the hood itself underneath. 
Our last little bit of trimming going on by Ian on the hard top. We use plenty of red rubber lube on this seal. It's made life a lot easier. Trim these ends off as well. When there's three of you pulling that seal, it doesn't half make life easy. No, so, Phil, we do it on oh, top up. And one last job to do, and that's to get these side ears, put the poppers in there, and then it should be soft top done. Okay, so we're just about to put the poppers on the hood. Uh, me and Ian have just put this first one on there, and what we're going to do is we're going to use a little poker. We're just going to find the hole, put it under a tiny bit of tension, not too much, we just want it to look nice and make sure it's nice and all the soft top at the moment is up so that's a nice sort of fit we'll sort of gauge where the uh, popper is poke it through okay undo that and we'll just come through and make it hold force it through a few times we use a screwdriver just to open up that hole a little bit. Nice Phillips blade seems to work quite well on this. Just gently do it backwards and forwards. And that opens up the hole quite nicely. Then we get this popper. Obviously, two bits to a popper, in and out a bit. Put the black bit through. You get these in two different colours, so I mean Ian's gone with the nice black ones because all around the back of his hood is black. You can also get these in chrome, individual's choice really. And then what we're going to do is put the other side on the popper. Now Ian's got a little bit better popper tool than what I've got here and he's just going to come over and help us. But if I just take the popper off I can just show you what we're going to do. So the popper would go in there with the other side there and that side of the dolly would go there while the punch will go here and at the end of the punch obviously you just hammer on and that would spread the inside of the popper and get it in place. So Ian's just going to help me do that. So Bill just comes around here and we'll get everything in place. And what we're going to do is actually use the frame just to help us while we put these poppers in place and a piece of wood just on the frame so as we actually go to punch it it's not going to damage anything so if we can pull this over a bit I think if we undo the frame so we can use the frame because I don't think that's going to quite go right is that undone there Ian on this side? that side is good Ooh. There we are, just pull it back just a little bit, just so that will do, just so we can use the frame here as a punch and if in, just holds that there, have you got it? And use a block of wood underneath, a bit of a dolly there. Everything's lined up. Punch there. Just give it a few taps. A few more taps just to get everything nice and tight. If you don't punch these quite hard enough, they end up coming off. So it's good idea just to punch in just that little bit more to make sure you get it in nice but you don't want to go too hard either so if we put the hood back up obviously I'm only doing one just here we've got six to do we've done two and theoretically that goes in there nicely that goes in there nicely and that's a good fit and just to prove the taste is in the pudding that fits really nicely on there goes on its stud really well and that really completes the soft top so you're quite happy with it there Ian? indeed thank you very much yeah. thanks all bye take care don't forget to like and subscribe take it easy guys